Well, it's time now to discuss one of the biggest issues of the week, with New South Wales one step closer to legalising medicinal marijuana as the government announced a clinical trial of the drug. Well, the question has been asked, should WA follow suit? Our own Health Minister, Kim Hames, thinks so. Here's a little of what he had to say yesterday. Do you think it is inevitable we're going to get to a point where there will at least be a trial of medicinal cannabis? Well, I, I hope there will be one, but not medicinal cannabis in the way everyone thinks, which is active cannabis, the, the medicinal cannabis that we've seen using, particularly on that television program. The cannabis oil that we saw with that girl with epilepsy on TV isn't a cannabis you could smoke and get high from. It's a low TCH cannabis. There needs to be a national trial properly controlled and managed by the TGA who have got responsibility for approving whatever comes in to Australia. Well, joining the debate are this week's backbenchers, Liberal MP Peter Katzenbarnas and Labor's Rita Safiotti. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning Libby. Now, we are on the clock this morning sure. and each of you will have one minute to state your view. Rita, we'll start with you. Sure. How do you think this should play out? Well, look, Labor leader Mark McGowan put this on the agenda about three months ago. Labor supports the medicinal use or the use of medicinal cannabis for treating the terminally ill and those with chronic conditions. So we support it. We believe we should get on with it and show the appropriate care and compassion for those families in those situations. OK, Rita, you, you've got uh, 15 seconds to go, so that was nice and tight this morning. I like it. Thank you, Rita, for that. Peter, now it's over to you. Look, I think Kim Hames has got it right that we should look at this. We should take a national approach, and I think the Health Minister Kim Hames has written to the Federal Government. The Prime Minister Tony Abbott came out earlier this week as well and said we should look at it, we shouldn't need to repeat all the clinical trials that have happened overseas and in other jurisdictions, but we should make sure that the laws are pretty consistent across Australia and we can give access to people who require this medication to make them better. Now, to both of you, does this issue open the door for debate on decriminalising marijuana in general? No, I don't think so. This is a special case. This is for those families with people suffering terminal illness or chronic conditions. We believe we shouldn't be waiting for Canberra. We should get on with it and do it. There's so many stories of families experiencing excruciating pain watching their loved ones in such terrible pain. I think we should get on with it. New South Wales is getting on with it. There's no reason why WA can't get on with it. OK. Peter? I certainly don't think it should open the doors to decriminalisation for personal use. Um, but it highlights the reason why we do need a national approach because how are the people who require it for medicinal purposes going to access it? Who's going to grow it? Who's going to sell it? We don't want them having to go down the street to some dodgy drug dealer. We don't want the um, cannabinoid, cannabinoid oil that is required for the medicinal purposes to be manufactured in some backyard laboratory. We need an approach that treats this as a medicinal uh, treatment only and avoids getting caught up in all the illegality that happens with um, the illegal trade in um, marijuana and other drugs. Well, Peter and Rita, thank you very much for your time this morning. Certainly a very interesting debate and one we'll be hearing more of over the next few months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.